I know a lot of you have been waiting for this moment. <clears throat> swivel here. Swivel here. <laughs> a really tight thigh swivel that's not really worth swiveling. His right hand has a... <laughs> His left hand unfortunately doesn't have a... Focus, you bitch. His left hand doesn't swivel, so he's constantly doing this cat pose. In other words, this hand needs to go to hell. Waist swivel? Every dollar you contribute helps the swivel ship keep on sailing. Another thing about Gundam kits is that you can't really swivel them the way I like. But yeah, here's a swivel. Waist swivel? Of poses. Carefully swivel here. Swivel here. Oh yeah. He can hold quite a lot of poses. Oh god, I said the word. Oh god. Swivel here. Swivel here. No wrist swivel. No waist swivel. And for the climax, I'm done. Deli can't really put the rifle anywhere. Well, that's fine. Just put in his hand. His sexy swivel. Ooh, I said the S word. Now, because this is Miguel's kit, I gotta try to restrain myself from being too rough with it. But it's just so. I'll make it through this. <laughs> I know I said it wouldn't, but it's just, it's just, oh, I swivel. love you, baby. Oh, please. That was not the time for swivels. That comes later. Robot mode, out comes the precious life force. Oh, swivel here. No way, swivel. Put in my head. If the joints were a little tighter, posing this guy would have been a blast. But as it stands, or doesn't, it's kind of a mess that's filled with... Here. And the same articulation you get on the neck. Uh, into my eye. No wrist swivel. And this is where things kind of go to shit. And can we get a swivel here, please? Please, we swivel. Quite a lot of posability. Here. Swivel here. See, the thing about model kits is that you had to be really careful when you swivel. <laughs> no way, swivel. No thigh swivel. Resolve sexual issues that I have to take out with every toy review. Isn't that obvious by now? There's nothing in my life but swivel. Time again. The part where I get to experience that sweet swivel. Very tight swivel here. I wanna die! Poses. You know I did very much. Bicep swivel. <laughs> Thigh swivel. And one more. P -p 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 Put in my ass, I mean poses. <laughs> and that's the only extreme swiveling you're gonna see on this guy, because I don't wanna ruin my paint job. That is if I can help it. Gentle swivel here. And of course every ball joint can be <laughs> Alright, I gotta come down with that. And that's quite the healthy swivel. Swivel here. But can he? Take what I can get. Fake swivel here. Is that what I think it is? Is that oh, 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 a true swivel? No bicep swivel. And to deepen my depression, no waist swivel. Ooh, ratchety swivel. Turret movement. Yes, I sound like your dying grandmother. I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that sounded awful. Wrist swivel. Wait. <laughs> I can't. Just let the meme do it. Oh yes. Yeah. Thigh swivel. Knee swivel. Oh, yeah. This being a solid car, there's no point in talking about the swivels, although you can argue that wheels are swivel. Swivelless statues, if you're into that garbage. Clearly impressive. But what really gets me about it is its posability. It's definitely nothing fancy, I mean it is just a simple swivel. But no matter what angle you rotate it at, it looks perfect. 
Ay, ay, ay. Now that is swivel tastic. This hilarious falling ah. pose. And speaking of pose, ah. and of course you get that knit cat. Here, yeah. little bit of a bicep swivel. At wrist ah. point at the torso, and of course any ball joint can be a swivel. <laughs> Come spread. And just because you can see a thigh swivel doesn't mean it's not the. <laughs> Some of that. So got Transformers, Gundams, Trash. Any eyes on Lunar Toy Store helps them out and it helps me out because it keeps the swivels coming. Almost makes the loose hips and the loose head tolerable. Not to mention it makes posability a lot more fun. And of course every ball joint. Bicep swivel. Elbow swivel. No wrist swivel, fuck off. Oh. And swivel at the head. Posable. And of course, <laughs> the arm posability from the robot is all there. Ball joint at his tiny head. Let's get to the part we've all been waiting for. I know I have because it means the video is almost over. Swivel at the wrist. One more. Sw and unfortunately for my sexual frustration, that's it. I'm pretty positive that this video is gonna be swiveling short. And now, what can arguably be called the main event. A slight shoulder swivel at the left elbow, but for some reason not the right. But if you rotate it, a healthy swivel here. Leg, hilt clasp rotates. Unnoticeable thigh swivel. Knees. And who's your now what would a masterpiece transformer be without a little bit of that good good? I don't recommend you swivel the head this fast and might mess with the light feature. Leave the swiveling to the professional. Now we can get a little crazy swivel here. Tight swivel at the wrist. Sexy ratchety swivel. <laughs> and what would a masterpiece transformer be without the- I already did that segue. And from here, it's the same as the robot mode, except for no waist swivel. Now, what separates this figure from a model kit is the feel of it. The figure just feels more solid than your average high-grade kit. You get an extra V-fin. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to have a spare. The risk of breaking the V-fin is increased once you start. You know the drill. Swivel here. Thigh swivel. But I reach inside the box and the head immediately falls off. And a huge positive of this guy is that it's extremely pose. Bicep swivel, elbow swivel, and if you rotate it, swivel, but it's extremely loose, loose ass thigh swivel, and a and there's a hole between his legs that you can plug a stand into, which gives you a lot more options for posing, you know what time it is. You can rotate this little switch, and that moves the eyes, <laughs> that's beautiful, but you get a ball joint at the shield, bicep swivel that should be treated gently, and now I can go crazy, swivel at the waist, sadly no thigh swivel, limited swivel at the crotch, ball joint at the ankle, and to bring it more in line with the original transformation, no 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 no. Swivel. Bicep swivel, ball joint at the wrist, saluting hands the same. No waist swivel, but before I end it all, you can extend the waist and now. Thigh swivel, that's a little loose for my taste. Now that I've got my rocks up, this thing is just really fun to wave around. That is until the waist detaches and it gets floppy. But you do get an unintentional as well as verbosability. Let's move on. But when I come back... <laughs> Which I painted metallic gray and... But with all that shit being said... I must run away. No biceps will But for some reason, it's extremely tight, which prevents me from... Please. Due to the fragility of the model kit, I shouldn't, but... but I I must swivel here. 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 Swivel! A five-minute video? I mean, there was so much left to talk about. What was the creativity? The skits? The sex jokes? What about the swivels? Okay, look, I get it. Uh, I must swivel here. I get that. But even if this wasn't the end, where the fuck would you go? You talked yourself into a corner, didn't you? I bet you ran out of loot too, you bastard. Special thanks to Spike Spencer, the English voice actor for Shinji Akari, for liking my tweet. I'm not sure what you heard in my performance, but it's not as good as yours. Ray? 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 <laughs> now the moment I've been waiting for. Look, I'm really sorry, but... I gotta do what I gotta do. Swivel! Yes. And that can rotate. Bicep swivel. Wrist swivel. Uh. Tight thigh swivels. And also a waist. Wait, is that a swivel? Wait, wait, there, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Now let's get to the arguably weakest part of the figure. 
Fuck no, I'm not gonna swivel this. There's wires in there. Bicep swivel. But you know what I say about ball joints. They're just the more unlimited <laughs> Absolutely no possibility at the waist. Don't even try. Ball joint at the hips, which of course can. <laughs> it's a shame that there's really no possibility in the wrist. But at least I get a. And of course every ball joint. Elbow swivel. Another elbow swivel. Swivel at the wrist. And despite not having a right hand. Groovy. Tight swivel at the waist. Tight thigh swivel that's not as tight as I thought. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 this guy is floppy as fuck. It feels like one of those those slippy things that you get from the gift shop of museums, the, the ones that you can't really get a handle on, you know, like, like, fuck those things, man. And fuck the floppiness of this figure. It's still completely workable, though. It's fine. It's just a hassle. It's a hassle to pose. Now, I did say pose, didn't I? <laughs> no, fuck you, accessories. And now we can finally get into the oh, man. <laughs> But if you rotate it, limited thigh swivel. Metal Garuruman is really solid. The joints are nice and tight, and it's really fun to pose. And you heard right, I said po rotation. And this ball joint in particular makes a nice legs as the front leg cutter. Ball joint Digivolve 2 Swivel! I enjoy Metal Garuruman more than War Greymon, because in terms of character and design, I prefer War Greymon. But with that beautiful painting and sculpting, the sturdy and tight joint. But for now, let's talk about something a little less disappointing. Swivel here. Swivel here. There should be a thigh swivel, but it's so tight that it doesn't matter. The joints are surprisingly tight, and the plastic is tough and durable. Just mind the horns. So it really surprised me that this figure was a joy to... And every ball joint, of course, can be a... And every boss swivel here. And I don't even have to say it at this point. And basically, my one major complaint was washed away. Then let's get into the good stuff. What am I doing? Why am I going to do what I'm about to do? Is there a point when this running gag stops running, becomes old, crippled, withered away? Do I swivel not because I genuinely find it funny, but because it's what the people expect? It's not a Jabi the Hong video if it doesn't have a swivel in it, right? We're all gonna die anyway. Swivel! But it is enough to pull off one of Hello Kitty's iconic poses. The hair on this figure just seems too symmetrical and unnatural looking. But the upside to it is that it allows for great posability. That's too early for that. It has tighter, chunkier joints. As I mentioned before, this figure is way more solid than this figure, making it infinitely more fun to swim. Swivel here. Some swivel at the wrist. And if you're rotated, of course the possibility is limited by the claws. Tight ball joint at his chest. And this ball joint allows for some degree of contractually obligated swivel here. Swivel at the ankle. Be useless without some good old fashioned bicep me. Swivel at the wrist. Swivel at the thigh. Yeah, yeah. But if you're as clever and as desperate as I am, you could say the rotary blades are just one big <laughs> second person. Ink. As for posability on this <laughs> and that's all displayed on this included cart. I'm a little disappointed it doesn't have real wheels, but fuck it, it doesn't matter. So all the accessories that I previously mentioned are necessary to get the most out of this figure. Because without the accessories, the posability on this figure... Not that good. Swivel here. And the swivel at the watch wrist, but not on the right wrist. Tie joint at the waist that barely qualifies as a swivel. Artist! And that's it. God damn, this is great. So all of these accessories, from the hands to the fire, they wouldn't look half as cool if it wasn't for this kit's fantastic yeah. posability. You know, I've had some up and downs with the swivel joke, but this is just one of those figures with such great posability that I just have to stop myself and realize... I don't want to set the wood on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire will do. Do 
I love swivels too much? Possibly. And now, at the edge of our hope, at, at the, the end, end of, of our, our time, time, I have cancer. And that's really all the head can do. I wish it was on a ball joint. Swivel. Tight rotation. Category 4. <laughs> a category 5. And somewhat of a... Despite the issues I have with the figure so far, at least I can get some satisfaction. Bicep swivel. Wrist swivel. No way swivel. Fuck off. Thighs. And of course, every ball joint can be a swivel. The least I can do is pretend to be enthusiastic about this below average figure with average posability. So in that case... Swivel! Missile launcher still works, and you could rotate the. Uh, it's not fun anymore. This looks pretty terrible, but I don't see how they could have fixed this. Like Jobby without his. <laughs> now hold on, he's got more accessories to talk about. So before we get into the swivels, uh, a wingless death scythe hell is a sad death scythe hell. But I gotta admit, it makes it easier to swivel. <laughs> Bicep swivel that should not be swivel too hard. Switch. And of course, a gentle switch. But because a model kit is easily deconstructed, now the best way I can describe the feel of this figure is a Bandai licensed. Figma figure. She's got a similar amount of detail and a comparable amount of st little bit of a st the wrist. But if you rotate the peg and it allows a degree of the waist has a really tight. Oh, and also what? And on the subject of poses, it's pretty much the rotation at the t joint. Rotational wrists. Another. This figure is so fun to pose. And speaking of po wait, I just didn't break so easily. Even back then, I was into excessive. But because of the shitty super glue job, it can no longer do that. And my Epion is doomed to forever whack people with his sword. The Death Scythe Hell looks kind of try hard. You know what else is a bit forced than try hard? Swivel. <laughs> Is the microphone fucking careful with that biceps? And of course, <laughs> a thigh swivel that's sturdier than I thought. Completely unnecessary feature, but highly appreciated. Now, a great thing about this figure is technically his head is on a ball joint, but there's no head pivot to speak to here. Now, aside from the paint chipping, I noticed another consistent issue with masterpiece figures. Can we please have an ankle swivel? I'm really hoping they include this feature with future Beast Wars figures because goddamn it's cool. His eyes aren't the only things that could move around. And some side to side, very tight bicep swivel. And his back legs have the same posability as the robot have. So this guy has a decent amount of accessories, but I wish there was more so I can pad out the length of this video. Now I've been quivering with anticipation this whole time because this figure is very... The arm design makes the wrist hard to swivel, but I'll try my best. Careful with that swivel, you don't want to chip the paint. Same thing about that swivel. What am I fighting for? And the feet are on the complicated system of ball joint here. I'd actually be able to fold out, but at least they can move up and down. Rotation here, rotation at the sheet. And let's not forget a swivel. Swivel. Every ball joint can be up. And of course a f rotation at the crotch. Swivel at the, the music. The vibration on my ass. You've got me addicted. <laughs> But if you wanted some show accurate aerial poses, you could always take this included stand and shove it right up his thunderbolt set. An amazing concept and it's executed pretty well. But there's a part of me that wants a chain with more posability other than us. And speaking of poses, hold on, I'll turn. And now can we finally? No. Nope. And finally, after all of our arm biceps, a wrist swivel, a thigh swivel that's so tight that I don't understand how it got like this and pack it. Rotation. As for the rest of the figures, swivel joint, and of course every ball joint can be a rotate that peg and you can get a red <sighs> swivel. A bit more of the good stuff, but it's not impossible. <laughs> Making some poses a little awkward. Now I know I said poses, but we're not gonna swivel it there. Very cool that it spins, I highly appreciate it. Admit though, you could get some pretty cool fishing poses with this thing. I said poses again, but this time it's for re out swivel heel. And here we got a swish <laughs> at the way. I dare to believe you can swivel. Oh. At least the figure has pretty good Yahoo! Hobo. Yahoo! Red. Swivel. Also no waist swivel. What the fuck? As for the rest of his, yeah, that was all his accessories. Sucks, right? What? Swivel here. Bar. Come on, swivel. No! That's all his possibility. Not like this. No. Now it wouldn't be a proper Transformers figure if it didn't have any of that. Point. Of course, every ball joint is embedded with a swivel. No? Swivel fuck. <laughs> 
Now the mod kit is nice and solid. The joints are stiff, which means you gotta be careful when you pose. I bring this up because the leg joints on this kit have become loose over time. So I have to wonder if it's gonna happen to this kit. Maybe I'll just refrain from posing your legs too much. I get an angled stand part, but that makes it harder to pose, 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 pose. <laughs> Every ball drain can be a swivel if you're cool enough. Bit of a tight waist swivel. So was this figure worth the wait? Can ball joints be swivel? But now let's talk about something that's a little more than all right. Fantastic. Ball joint at the wrist. And the swivel is very limited. So this figure's mostly ball joints. And I shouldn't have to say at this point that every ball joint...